Hey, this is Mark from RC with me, and we are at 3x3 Race Camps. I'm going to take this opportunity now um, to show you what a 3x3 Race Camp, uh, I guess the purpose is. What we have here is we have a track that is set up, and it is, uh, the track is 20 feet apart. If you see the red roll or the pink roll of tape here, 20 feet across, we've got the orange. And then the middle here at 10 feet, we offset that six feet and that's our racetrack. And it creates a D-shaped oval. And uh, the camp is structured in three different uh, sets. So you, the C camp, you know, C, B, and A camp. C camp is some pretty simple exercises. I'm gonna go through that now. So th this, the purpose of C camp, or the goal of C camp is to complete three specific track patterns in a row in the quickest time. And I'm gonna do that now. So right there, right there in front of the pink tape, we're gonna use that line as the starting bridge or the starting point. And then as soon as I cross that, normally we have a timer and they'll time that. But right now for demonstration purposes, as soon as we cross the line, that's begins. And the first one that we do oval left. So it's a simple, we take an oval left. No, we have to come back the other way. So we have to make a transition. So we transition here and then every other approach to the start finish line is this way. So we make that transition and then we complete oval to the right. So this is oval to the right. And now that we've completed oval to the right, we're gonna shoot for figure eight. And we finish figure eight when we cross the line right here, boom, and that's the time. And so we have drivers continue to repeat those patterns over and over so that they get better and can lay down a uh, quicker time. So that was C camp. I'll do that again real, and I'll just do it uh, quicker. So to review, here's oval left. Now we got a transition to oval right. We got oval right. Now we've completed oval right, so we're going to go to figure eight. Now we finish figure eight and time. And then we record those times on a spreadsheet and just put them on a Google Doc and teach these kids how to use Google Docs because you think that might be helpful in the future. And um, then we watch their progress. So then as they progress through that, they have three camps. And generally, you, it, it's a very good illustration of how they can decrease their lap times and increase the total number of laps through this structured practice. So that was C camp. I'm now gonna progress on to B camp. So they have finished the first three, right? Um, and I'm gonna start here. They, they're finished the first three, you got oval left. Oh, I messed that up. So we'll do that again. We're gonna start with oval left. And then we transition, okay? Transition, now we begin oval right. We're completing oval right, beginning figure eight. And now we're gonna add on three more. So this is where we add on tight oval. It's basically a hairpin. You go out and come down the middle instead of going around the outside. And then after that, we're gonna add combo number five, which is actually pretty difficult. So yeah, there's, it's the fifth pattern. So it's called combo number five. And then there's kind of like five parts to it. So you wrap that up. And since that was difficult, we give you another, uh, an easy one. So that's shorty, right? And boom, that is, the, that is the B circuit. So you start with the first three and then you add on the second three. So I'm gonna show you what those second three are by themselves. Okay, so this would be finishing up figure eight. So C camp is um, the first three are oval left, transition to oval right, and then figure eight. This would be coming off of figure eight, and now they're gonna be adding tight oval. This is tight oval, then you got combo number five. So you got one, two, three, four, oops, I missed that one, and five. And then you're gonna add shorty, and there is shorty, done, all right? So that's, that's that progression. And now I'm going to show you the next progression. Um, so if you come out of shorty, you come out of shorty, you're going to add the next three, which is boomerang. If you're coming out of shorty, there's, we're crossing our start finish line. This is boomerang. Similar to combo number five, but you have this big, long sweeping uh, curve here. 
And then you do what's called slingshot. Slingshot, you just come back around here and then you slingshot back around right from where you came from. And then after that is big D, which is just a big D oval with a twist at the end. We don't want you to come too hot over across the finish line, so you gotta do this first. And this is time, all right? So that was the last three. That would be A camp. And I'm gonna do it from start to finish now. This is from top to bottom, a complete circuit. This is gonna be, and I'm gonna look at my watch here, oval left. Transition to oval right. Oval right. Figure eight. Tight oval. Combo number five. Shorty. Boomerang. Slingshot. And we're gonna wrap it up with Big D. And I did that in just about a minute. So that is it. That is a three by three circuit that's broken down three patterns at a time. So the first three is C camp, the second, th uh, second three is B camp, and the third three is A camp. And after that, a driver can pretty much put their truck anywhere they want. They've got a pretty good command of how to control their truck around tight corners, long straightaways, swooping turns, and things like that. This is really a great foundation for kids to get started in, in racing, just in understanding just how to control their truck and a, a lot of other things that come with it about track etiquette and things like that. So uh, this is Mark from RC with me. This was, and 3 by 3 race camps, and this was uh, a 3 by 3 circuit from top to bottom. We use RC to connect with people, teach kids valuable skills that last a lifetime. We'll catch you on the next one.